ceiling all the way back because they got to get I to this drain. The house could be described as torn up. I was having the plumbing redone and the electric redone. And then that turned into what? Turned into three months worth of destruction of the inside, throwing away of all my kitchen appliances, tearing down my shower, and then leaving me with nothing but empty rooms. Mike Gibson, a local carpenter, was told about Doty's struggles and decided to take action. I was taught at a young age what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, and, and I had to try to find a way to make this right. So he called up his colleagues, a crew of union contractors in plumbing, carpentry, electrical, and painting. One big thing that the building trades and all the, the union contractors are like in Toledo is we're a big family. When one calls for help, they all pitch in. I couldn't begin to tell you how grateful I am. I had nowhere to turn except my own pocketbook. Mike and the rest of the crew are doing the job for free. Dash Construction, OCP Contractors, Lakeside Construction, Tri-State Industrial, Great Lakes Electrical, Merritt Plumbing, and local 1090 Millwright are all contributing. Today was demolition day. We're going to be pulling the tub and pulling, pulling the, the old plaster and, and lath down and then uh, the electricians and the plumbers will come in and finish their electrical and plumbing work and make sure that that's all tight. Then our drywall crew will come in and hang all the, hang all the drywall and, do the, and uh, hang the drywall around the tub surround. Um, another contractor will come in and finish and paint and do the casework and cabinets. And then uh, we'll come in here uh, with Tri-State Industrial Floors, get the new floors down and bring in the appliances. After four months of headaches, Dodie should have her house back in about two weeks. It'll be a, a big treat to be able to get into my home again and enjoy life.